I am excited to see this one. You know, there's that coach, teammate, player dynamic. Now on opposite teams, but we might just see Mount space off against another Leroy as well. So he seems to be very adjusted to that matchup. So I'm not really worried for him. But again, looking forward here. If Mount is able to pick up a victory here against Apon, it'll be very, very good for him, especially moving forward towards that top eight as. We see here the head-to-head -head record between them. Not that big of a gap, you know. Just 2-1 to one in favor of Hapon so far. But, yeah. 2-1 to one in favor of Hapon. But, man, Hapon has been performing so well in this season of the Nationals. And let's see if he continue, continues it against, you know, uh, against his former coach. And both of these guys are actually coaches uh, in their own right. Yeah, yep. But what's interesting here is that if Hapon decides to um, stick with that Leroy, it's an, an, again a very different style of Leroy compared to his teammate, you know, Coffee Prince. So it's another layer of adjustment that Mounts has to do going up against Hapon. Yeah, and Hapon kind of unpredictable right now. He has a geese in his arsenal. He has, of course, he has that usual Eddie, mm -hmm. but Leroy has been the top performer <laughs> if, uh, if I can say so uh, for him in the Nationals right now and let's see if he goes one of these characters he might pull out a surprise for us yeah kid and one more thing I want to point out about Hapon he has been gaining quite a reputation so far here in the conference as you know a bit of a god slayer you know really beating out the top players that we have known for during our previous uh, conferences and he is sitting quite high up there in the standings right now so Hapon has been on a bit of a hot streak here and I really wouldn't be surprised to see him continue it here yeah specifically him and Maru have been performing so well in this season of the Nationals and it's insane how these guys are so high up there in the standings right now when in season one they were kind of a bit like uh, outside yeah. of the standings yeah mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say mid-tier during our previous uh, you know, season, but yeah, right now they are performing exceptionally well and you know, right now just the way they are playing, it seems like they're just ready to, you know, maybe steal this one away from their usual top players. And what do you think, Chiso? So is Mautz going to continue on to, uh, with that Nina pick or will he go for the Ganryu? And I'm, I, I can say for sure, we can't predict which one uh, Hapon is gonna go for because man, he has three characters in his arsenal already. Who knows he has a fourth one? You know, I think it just depends on how well Mount knows, you know, mm -hmm. Hapon from their previous days of being teammates. Because again, you mentioned Hapon does have quite a bit of characters prepared here. So I wonder which one Mount is gonna be the most comfortable one up. What pick Mount has that will be the most comfortable going up the characters that Hapon has? Yeah, that actually makes a lot of sense because these guys know each other so well, and all yep. the other all the other players here, the Nationals, they know each other so well. It's not the first time that they played against each other, mm -hmm. and the familiarity comes into play. I know that Hapon is gonna go for this one because he's gonna he's gonna counter me with this and this one, and then like in the same case for Hapon. Hapon knows his coach as much as he uh, as much as as much as the next guy, so. A lot of new strategies are going to come into play here and I'm so excited to see how it's going to go in this game. Yeah, if there is something that we want, kind of want to see more from Hapon, it is that Eddie pick though. We haven't mm. seen it that often come out from him. He has been you know, betraying his signature character <laughs> quite a bit here. So if there was anything that I think we would appreciate and the fans would appreciate, I think it would be Hapon picking that Eddie no matter how unlikely it is. Yeah, I think Hapon has only pulled out the Eddie about once or twice in this conference and it's really uncharacteristic because again, he's the best Eddie in the Philippines. He's known as he's known as the Eddie of the Philippines and also the, the opponent that he's up against right now, Nina. Uh, Nina Mautz, right? And Mautz really shows how well he does, especially up against a, a guy like Coffee Prince, right? Coffee Prince with his, uh, with his skill in second seven and combined with Leroy that's that's a scary combination yeah exactly exactly but yeah going back here just um talking more about who is you know realistically in the running for our top eight spot and if Mounts is able to take a 2-0 here I believe he will be about a point away from top eight or will he be top eight I'm not quite sure but yeah a lot of crucial matches moving forward in the day as well you know 
a lot of other players gunning for that spot. Jules in our featured match to end the day. That's also something I am look looking forward to. Yeah, exactly. And I also one thing to note about Hapon is that he gave Dojin his very first loss in this conference, and that says a lot already. Dojin, probably one of the best players here in the Philippines right now. 2-0. What do you have to say about that? I think I think that's a big victory for Hapon. I mean, we were talking about how he has been gaining a reputation for taking out our top players. And it has been showing in the way that he has been playing. He has really gotten a good read on what their game plan is, on their play styles as well. And he has been adjusting accordingly. And I really love seeing that from Hapon. Yeah, and it's a bit of a trend uh, right now that Hapon is slowly but surely being called the, the, the king or the god slayer. But there's still like a couple of more days left if he does manage to continue on to that onslaught. And Hapon, really, I am looking forward to this guy and he is, he really is undoubtedly performing so well. Yeah, and you know, the more that we talk about Hapon taking out the top players, I feel like during regular season, you don't really get to prove it as much as when you actually win, you know, the championship or something. I feel like that's where you really get to prove that you deserve that title. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, speaking of the title, you have to be in top 8 for that. And Mautz is just outside of it. He really needs to win, like, his next few matches on the upcoming days for the Nationals. And it's not going to be easy. I can tell you that right now. Yeah. It's not going to be easy. Yeah, only a few days left here for the regular season as well. And, man, it has been achieved these past, you know, 7 days that we have been seeing everyone come out here and compete. Yeah, and for okay, let's talk about the Leroy versus the uh, let's talk about the Leroy Ganyu matchup, which is something we both predict that's gonna happen for Hapon versus Mats right now. What do you think is gonna happen here, Chista? Okay, never mind then. I think we get what we want, kid. I think we get exactly <laughs> what we asked for. No Leroy's this time. They're just gonna go over, go back to what we have known and loved from both of these players. It's gonna be Eddie up against Nina. <laughs> okay, I, I I think I think these guys should like uh, you know I are hearing me right now and you know let's prove this guy wrong. I don't care. I, lo I love it. <laughs> this is really funny. This is really funny. <laughs> all right, Hapon and Eddie, what a treat for all of us. About to opening this one up with a lot of these folks. And right now. Slowly but surely, oh, a bit of a misinput coming from Mats right there. No one's up against the wall exactly. Oh, if he, if Hapon continued that, that could have been a big launcher. All right, they switch sides here after that throw break. Wow, Hapon catches him. This might potentially be the wall. Here we right, go. Right, it should be. Yeah, but the wall side wall will save Mats's life. Half health already. Both players, thirty seconds into the game, ladies and gentlemen. Bit of a poke foul coming in for the audience right now. Ooh, presses a button on that second hit, but Mapon will fail to continue that wall combo. Good break on that throw. 17 seconds left. An eternity for both of these guys. Yeah, close round right now, but Hapon has access to Rage. Both players are... Whoa! Random Rage are not gonna land and Mount! Gonna punish that one accordingly. Oh, I made yeah. me think Hapon thought Mount was gonna press. Yeah, the pressure was on to Mads, but he did not press a single button right there. He knows Hapon well enough that he's gonna pull that trigger, and Mads will take that round one. And right now, though, Hapon will push Mads to the wall. Very on point punish coming in from Mads, and he has the health lead. He should just let Hapon approach him and pressure him by just defending. Yeah, look at this Mouse, the advantage he has gained just from poking away from Hapon. About to get this round, 30 seconds left. Hapon does have big damage available, but no, Mouts gonna shut the door in that one. And Mouts is nearing a 3-0 first game here up against our Godslayer, Hapon. Yeah, that was a bit of a dangerous punish coming in from Mouts. Uh, he, Hapon, if Hapon continued that string, that could have been it for him. But Mouts, again, continuing this onslaught, the pressure, the punishes, it's all there. He's showing who the real coach is. Exactly, but Hapon trying to fight back here. Let's find a decent combo of his own. Slight life advantage, big launcher should mean the round here for Hapon. No pixel healthier for Mount. Big counter hit as well. Can he find a comeback here, sidewall? 
Oh my goodness, that could have been it. And Mouts right now under pressure blocks that Rage Drive but gets hit by that mix up. He gets the mid and Hapon slowly takes it back round three. Oh, that could have been huge for Mouts right now. They trade. Not in anyone's favor right now. Right. The momentum is there for Hapon. Mouts right now looking a bit shaky in this round. He's taking pokes when he shouldn't. Again, the launcher tries to go for the cross up, but the wall standing, the 13 frame launcher catches him, and Hapon will take it to a final round. Impressive stuff. Yeah, Hapon turning this game around quickly. Now let's see, deciding round four, game one. Crucial for both players, but it's Hapon who strikes first with a big launcher. They're gonna push Mount to a corner here. Not a great spot, but excellent wake up there from Mount. Gonna put Hapon in an unfavorable position. Oh, the relaxed stance launcher catches Mouts with a mix up and Hapon comes back from what looked like a no round round to wow. a three round comeback. Impressive stuff again, ladies and gentlemen. Hapon playing exceptionally well here and Mouts was looking like he, he was gonna get a no round round, but. That was quite a surprise. Yeah, kaya ngayon yung tawag sa kanya Eddie ng Pinas. I think mm. si Hapon and man, just the way the the speed at it, which he snatched back those three rounds. It seems like he just immediately downloaded Mouts and just knew everything that he was gonna do. Man, really great stuff coming out from Hapon. And I wonder what the adjustment here will be for Mouts, especially that we were talking about how crucial this game is for him. Yeah, and from that game, you can really tell that both of these players know each other so, so well. Whenever, like, whenever, whenever Hapon would go for a relaxed stance, it's either Mouts would go for a down 4 1 yeah. or would duck immediately. Just those hard reads from Hapon. Those were some risky launchers, too. So, um, some of Hapon's launchers were launch punishable by Mouts, but then. He was confident enough that he'd go for it and Mouts would either press a button or just duck and Mouts took it away from him. He robbed him. Mm -hmm. And you know, kid, I think one factor here is the fact that both of them are former teammates. So those hard reads mm -hmm. coming out from Hapon might come from, you know, training and sparring against each other with these same characters. Yeah, exactly. And let's see, does, is Mouts going to go for that Ganryu pick or will uh, the Nina pick stay? Because again, uh, the relaxed stance will be caught by the down 4-1 by uh, Nina. Let's see how things are going to go here. Let's see what the character is for Mouse. And it looks like the Nina is going to stay, but the stage will be different. Dragon's Nest. Mm -hmm. And this has been a stage that Mouse has been favoring quite a bit here, if I recall correctly. So a bit of a smaller stage compared to Hammerhead, but no, one thing about this one is the sidewalls might become a factor as this oddly shaped. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to matter a lot for Mouse because even though the sidewalls are going to mess up the combo, Mouse can just go for the 1 2 4 and it's going to connect. It's, the sim it's similar to Jin, and Mouse converts to a combo. Very good stuff. Butterfly flaps just a bit short on that wall. No wall combo, but wow! The re wall splat and Apon's a lot of under a lot of pressure right now. Mouse is working on a perfect, but no, Apon will deny that. Mm -hmm. Does have rage though, so extra damage now on Apon. Does get floated out though, and this might just mean Mouse winning our first round. He does so there. Good start here in game two for Mouse. All right, the momentum that he needs, he doesn't exactly have it just yet, but oh, Apon with that proper pressure in, proper punish rather. Slowly. Oh, the backswing blow. Gonna carry Mouts to that wall. This is gonna be big damage, Chisto. Yeah, big launchers coming out here from upon two in a row, but a side wall will save Mouts for now. Does have a mountain to climb if he wants to come back in their second round, though. Does have rage. So big damage available. Spends the rage drive. Sliding in here with his offense. Upon. Oh, excellent throw break there. No throw break. Upon now in rage. Catches Mouts with a rage drive. And this might be it. No, good luck there from Mount. Anyone? That was round so good. Mount. 
That it, was so good. Oh my goodness, the amount of defense and offense and decision making were there. And Mats again with a side step down forward too, gonna carry to that wall, but he misses it. The second hit of that uh, butterfly flap. Mouts just a bit of a crucial combo drop, but he gets another down forward too in the process. Hapon gonna be carried to that wall, no break on that throw, but we'll break it on a second time. Mouts again, a lot of these side steps down forward one forward. That was what I was talking about. And Mouts, there it is, the no round brown. Oh man, Hapon went for it at the end there. We saw that he really risked it with that launcher, trying to get that comeback, but just. I'm really impressed at how quickly these players can adjust in between uh, games, you know. After uh, Hapon dominating our game 1, game 2, Mouth immediately knows what he has to do. Picks up a 3-0 over Hapon. I'm just excited now for what might happen in our third game. And uh, I was about to say something. I was about to say Deja Vu. We've, uh, I've seen this place before, you know. It's, it, it looked like you know Mouse was gonna go up two rounds, but is Hapon gonna make a comeback? But no, he completely denied Hapon that comeback. He denied him the satisfaction. And really, big props to Mouse. I mean, the adjust he adjusted so well. He had enough reaction time to go for the down uh, down four one in response to the relaxed stance. Yeah, I really love the adjustments, the adaptations coming out from Mouts. And heading into game three, it's just another question of whether or not Hapon can do the same because I feel like Mouts already knows what he wants to do on that Eddy. So we might just see a character swap here from Hapon. Oh, that is the big question right now. But no, Ooh. the Arctic Snowfall that benefits Hapon the most since Eddie cannot sidestep. The backdashing will come into play. He will backdash and backdash to deny Mouts those mix of pressure, the up in your face kind of aggression that Mouts has. And, you know, Eddie has one of the best uh, backdashes in the game. So we'll be able to utilize that here. Let's yeah, see. exactly. One of the best backdashes alongside Zafina. But Zafina is nowhere to be seen in this game. And here we go, Mouts with the. Down jabs into that follow up of the grab. So he wants that life lead immediately, Chisto. Mm -hmm. Starting off here in game three very, very well. Just poking away, but Hapon gets a good hit there onto Mouts. Gonna get a decent combo here, not quite to even out the life. Slides now in Hapon. Here. Yeah, again with another slide, and he goes with the hard combo as well. Hapon is really ballsy on this one, puts Mouts in rage. Mouts will whiff that rage drive. Hapon now is put in rage himself and Mouts is going to continue on those pokes. Spends his rage drive himself. What is it going to be? One more poke for Mouse and potentially even more for Hapon. But no, Hapon will shut him down. Yeah, okay. Then we already see how well Hapon can utilize the space here. Just because of the infinite stage. is allowed to play a lot more patiently here because he has no fear of getting backed up to a wall. But here comes Mouse. Getting a decent right, combo here. Drops it, unfortunately. Oh, and he gets another one in return though. Mouse is being spoon-fed to hell right now. And Hapon just so, so low already. And forward 3-3, three, three, Hapon couldn't have been punished by that. But he pressed the button anyway. Mouse will take round two. Yeah, a bit of a fortunate round there as well. But oh, they trade, but it goes in favor of Mouse. He gets a combo of his own here. Nice. Slight advantage in the health now for Mouse. Mm-hmm. And again, again with that down forward 1-4, that, that move completely shuts down Eddie and it shows, ladies and gentlemen, Mouts right now backdashing away, showing up on the treatment that he's showing Mouts and there it is! Mouts, so strong right now! Oh, here we are kid, match point for Mouts, can up on bring us to that final round, we'll see! Both players spacing out here, Mouts with those butterfly flaps, we'll be able to poke away at upon nice step! Into the DF2 here. Gonna put up on in rage. Big life advantage see. now for Mouts. Yeah, you can see Mouts going for a lot of these sidesteps and it's working out so well. Hapon though has a fighting chance. He spends that rage drive. He goes for the extra bit of damage, but no, he drops that combo. Mouts, one more hit to do it, and the wall standing for the interrupt and Mouts. So strong and wins all of his games. We'll take it against Hapon.